and uh, we are live everybody should be able to see us and hear us how's it going everyone it's uh, another thursday night for the battle arena um how's everybody doing tonight good evening ready to kill good evening ready to kill hey everybody <laughs> ready for drinking <laughs> i like it i like it um definitely uh, I think it's going to be a good night. Should be a lot of fun. And see if anybody can uh, go ahead and take over that championship crown this week. Um, and I don't know if uh, this guy's got some pretty heavy stakes on his shoulders. So we'll see what happens. I like stakes. Everybody's hungry. Everybody is hungry tonight, I think. So we are going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, <coughs> Uh, please check us out on other nights of the week. We do have some other stuff going on. Uh, tonight is absolutely all about the Battle Arena. Uh, we encourage you to go to Discord and sign up for that. Uh, you can just jump right into that sign-up channel and say, notice me, and I will definitely do that. Um, you know, it's uh, definitely getting interesting in all the, the different phases, the different uh, builds, everything that everybody's bringing to the table um, is definitely awesome to see and, and everyone's creativity. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and jump right in to the Pits and Traps map. As soon as Roll20 wants to catch up. So, so, as you can see, there are not a lot of monsters spread around the arena this week. In fact, there's just one thing standing solidly in the middle there. Oh shit. <laughs> Is it an elder dragon? For everybody to play with, to everybody to see. I oh. Man. I know what's going on here. You guys can't see this, but I can. Yeah, I was a. That player's I guess that's, that player's that's why my reloading doesn't work. Is super important. I'll get there. One of these days, I'll be good at this job. <laughs> you wearing flip flops? Oh my! <laughs> he looks fun. So he's wearing sandals. Sometimes, you know, there's a lot of little things. Every once in a while, there's just one big one. So let's go ahead and grab those initiative tokens. I don't know where my token. Uh, let's see, yours is going to be over on the left there, I think. Okay. As usual, the Count is going to come into the bottom arena in his own entrance. It's a little more gilded down there. You know, they sweep up, wash the walls a little the bit. The VIP area. It's very, it's the champion's entrance. Uh, VIPs are still entering up with the, the plebeians. <laughs> um... So definitely, you guys noticed this week that as the Count walks out, there's it almost seems like the section right behind the champion's entrance is filled with a lot of a lot of people that really seem to want to support the Count. It seems like he's really won over some of the crowd. And you see roses coming down. Oh, he's bowing. You he's see uh, bowing. a lot of cheering, you know, so... <laughs> Thank you, my adoring fans. It's so hard to be loved by the masses. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and roll a performance check for that, sir? All right. As you see these guys oh, throwing, yes. throwing the accolades. Oh, that's a horrible waste of a crit. Or is it? Or did it? I don't know. Did it work? Oh, I got a 25. I mean, I got a crit. No, oh, I'm not even seeing a result. Me either. Me neither. It was just my Weird. internet. Oh, I, just, I whispered it to myself. God damn it. Oh, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. The GM can see it. The I can't GM see it. I cannot see it's it. Just so. yourself. <laughs> I think oh, it was a natural. Awkward. It, I'm telling you it was a natural 20, but I'll roll it again. <laughs> Definite oh. natural 20. <laughs> Ouch. The GM can check Ouch. it later, okay? The GM can check it later. He rolls his performance check and steps in dog shit, man. Oh. That's terrible. 19. Okay. Well, they definitely respond. They definitely are loving loving the performance, loving the bravado. One more. 
<laughs> that was super funny. That, over shoulder. <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Um, okay, so um, now that you guys can see your to uh, tokens, sorry about that. Go ahead and uh, grab an initiative. Oh, should I roll the initiative too? But I got a twenty-three. Do I really have to roll it again? <laughs> Gosh, I mean, it's not a natural twenty, so I think I could take your word on this one. I'll roll again to put myself on there. <laughs> Or whatever, you can take that, it doesn't matter. Nice. Either way is fine, sir. You are the champion. Oh, like, what's, your, what's your deck, Solik? Uh, plus four, sucka. What's up? All right, so we're, we're tied, so it's fine. You can go before me. Okay, so you want to be at 23? Uh, well, we're both at 23, so I don't know who would go who would have gone first. Whoever has the highest decks. Yep. We have the same decks. Oh. Oh. The champion can go first. I would How's say that, that it kind of right. is champion. Okay. Champion love there. So mm -hmm. as you step out, um, anybody else have you know have any kind of uh, little showmanship or bravado they'd like to to show as they step out to the fans? My character has no charisma. He's paranoid of everybody here. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough, just sir. Walk, just walk out. Hold the hand. <laughs> Hold out his arm, all of a sudden, poof, Albert. Nice. My character walks out of whatever little tunnel he just came from with a shield in one hand, a sword in the other, and his armor is like half hastily put on, and he's still trying to buckle shit up as he got rushed out. Uh, and he just kind of looks over at everybody, and you can like see his legs actually trembling. So he's looking at the crowd and his, the other combatants. Okay, okay. You know, we have a, a couple of new guys to the arena, so they're not quite sure to what to make of the, the large crowd. Um, I haven't quite put in the audience yet, but they'll be there one day. <laughs> one day, <laughs> the stadium will be full of... Jerry so is fans. it like a is it like a coliseum type stadium? I never played this before, so it's like it what, is. What's, what's the stadium like? Uh, it is definitely a big giant uh, coliseum style uh, stadium. It is a little more uh, low budget, a little more rustic. It's got you know the big giant uh, wooden stakes that have been pounded into the walls coming out. Um, more of a circular arena than like the coliseum in Rome. Um, and there, it, it is definitely, you know, it has different layouts and setups, uh, week to week. Uh, this pits and traps map is just one of my favorites. Sure. Um, so I definitely like to kind of keep it somewhat, uh, somewhat the same, but you know, change it up a little bit every week too. So. Um, you definitely at this point are going to have to imagine the, the thousands of cheering fans. Yeah, I'm trying not but, to. Trying to, trying, to, trying to picture them all in their underwear right now there you go that's how you win that's how you win <laughs> well the champion week three um, week three of your run sir so i don't know any of these people right i wouldn't know who's who on these no, sides you have not uh no Did i heard the descriptions though who who's uh who are the two that were trembling and who made their halberd appear I was trembling with the sword and shield. Where, where, where are you? That was the Albert appear. <laughs> nine o'clock is me. Oh, you're at nine. Yeah, he's got and the fire one. kind of coming out of his hand there. Who's the one that made the halberd appear? Is that also right, here? Right below him, actually. Okay. All right. <laughs> nice. And then one other, one other champion standing over, kind of off to himself and not not wishing to be noticed, but looking, nonetheless, fierce for it. All right, Aranus, uh, another uh, new this, champion. He's, yeah, he's new. He's new. <laughs> okay. No one pay attention. <laughs> he's definitely trying to to stick to the shadows and not be noticed as as much as the others. <clears throat> um. Let's see. Hi. Hi. I'm good. I'm good. We're good. What would you like to do, sir? You have you the next? first move. I thought I needed a ghost still, but apparently I don't. Um, yeah, I'll activate Haste and Blades on. Okay. I'll mark that down. And the... I will go. Oops. Let me go over there. Like, there, from where I was, and then. there 
All right. Okay. The standard, the standard start for the count. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So large monsters have a uh, reach of ten. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. All right. Aranus, your first time stepping out into the bright lights. The in, the intense gaze of the jeering and some cheering fans. Okay. Um, sorry, it was just had a little character thing issue. So let's see. Uh, so Aranis, Aranis uh, comes out and he's he's holding a bow in his hand. He's wearing like a, like a robe. He's got a cowl pulled over his head, and uh, he's twirling the bow above his head as he walks out. And he looks in the count's direction and just like turns to the crowd and goes, "Ha! Ever the dancing fool!" And uh, just heads a little closer to him, uh, moving uh, thirty feet. So let's see. The talking begins right off the bat. He's going for it. And uh, he, he casts, he like points, points a finger in the Count's direction and, and, and casts and says, dance fool, dance. Damn. <laughs> Ouch. Not, not target Adam, I can't get close enough, but like near him, just throwing out just lights around okay. him. Okay, just trying to make him a little more uh, noticeable? Uh, just not even so much that, he's just trying to antagonize him. Okay, okay, so as you're uh, running along, you kind of get planted over next to the firewall, you're kind of checking out this stone golem. Suddenly you see this new challenger step up, and as he casts uh, a little wave of his fingers and a, and a quick muttering... Um, you see these light modes start popping up all around you, swooping down towards you and trying to distract you away from your intended target. And the Count turns to him, lips took another glass he got from somewhere, and says, You're right, I should be in the spotlight. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well played, well played. Uh, is that the end of your turn, sir? That's it, yeah. Okay. Apex. Oh, well, as I'm looking around at the crowd and I see some lights going on, flashing around down there, and I look towards the middle of the field, and uh, what is that thing that I see there? That is a huge, huge, giant, tall stone statue. It looks like it is just kind of rooted in place, and it's standing there holding this big, giant mall. Okay. Well, I'm going to assume that that's not threatening. Uh, and standing where I am, I'm just going to turn towards the uh, opponent to, below me, to my, I guess, right. Uh, and I will just hit, use my action to, I think, was the dodge, dodge action. Okay. And uh, and I'll just stay there. That'll be my my first turn in the battle arena, and probably my last. <laughs> okay. Like I... everybody else. <laughs> I mean, we should all gang up on this monstrosity in the middle. He looks formidable with his sandals. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to put on the battle music. Okay, so you are taking a swing at this dude, or what are you doing to this guy here? He said he was taking the dodge action. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm just standing still. I got my shield up and my sword kind of over it, and uh, my knees bent, my feet planted a little bit. Okay. Kind of pra practiced move, but I'm just kind of waiting. Okay, so you're kind of readying yourself, readying yourself for the action to begin. I like it. Is that music too loud for you guys at all? Or? I don't Is hear it? anything. Uh, well, it must be. Uh, turn up your music, man. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So thematic. 
All right, Grieger, you see uh, this guy standing next to you. He seems to almost kind of take you into his sights and, and kind of prepares himself for an attack. Not, not quite sure what to, to make of you and, and your intentions here. Well, he's just going to see this stat, the giant in the middle be like, hmm, he looks fun. I'm just going to take the dash action. Okay. And start running towards the middle. That would be it for me. Okay. Uh, do you have any ranged attacks, or? Pardon? Do you have any ranged attacks, or is that all you're going to do this run? No, I'm holding my got my halberd out right now. Plus, that was my action. Okay. Was that sixty? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very well then. Come on, roll 20. See, I knew I was going to do that. <clears throat> At 7, uh, in the middle of this arena, you guys, uh, you know, see the statue. It's kind of standing there. And all of a sudden, you see its head move. It looks over towards the count. You see its head move again and look over towards Aranus. And as it does so, starts taking large, heavy steps forward. And moves over towards the champion. Both things. So, uh, as he sees this uh, big statue moving, he goes, Why have you forsaken me? Must kill, must kill, must kill. So he looks around a little bit, takes his shield up, and takes his uh, scimitar. He's like, Big patty over there. He jumps down. Um, he actually climbs down very uh, easily, as cores can. Just like almost like a spider. Okay. And uh, he'll jump, and uh, he's just gonna run this way. He'll cast a uh, shield. Okay. Let's see. Uh, shield, uh, shield of faith. There you go. As a bonus action, and uh, take the the dodge um, action as a as a prep. That's all he'll do for now. Okay. And which spell was it that you cast? Shield of Faith? Uh, Shield of Faith, yeah. Okay. Uh, is that the one that gives you the... Ten minutes of uh, plus two AC. Right. Okay. That's what I thought that was. Alrighty. And is that the end of your turn, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, the Count. Um, you so did he... Okay. He just moved. He did. You saw this giant creature just start taking lumbering heavy steps towards you. So he didn't you he didn't do an action, he didn't dash or anything. Nope. Now, would I have seen him like uh preparing an action or anything, like holding his action? Uh I mean, he definitely is holding this big giant maul and I mean, he looks like he might be ready to crush somebody with it if, uh... if I approached him. Quite possibly. I mean, you could approach and find out. Hmm. Don't forget about all your movement. Oh, I know. <laughs> I got a lot of it. Oops. <clears throat> he just wants to use the earth bolt spell thing that I just put in there. Hmm, I don't really want to fuck with this guy, actually. <laughs> So I'm going to go somewhere else. I'll go over here. <laughs> okay. I don't want to be the first one in. Like, is he? what does this thing look like? Is he wearing a loincloth? Um, yeah, I mean, he's definitely okay. got chis... He's very chiseled. Bum, bum, bum. 
Come on, I got to do dad jokes in there too, right? Am I wrong? Um, he's definitely um, he's cut. He's super cut. Okay, uh, I'm gonna disengage with my haste bonus action. <laughs> okay. Turn over here, and I'm going to attack him. Ooh! Wow, that's Play. a that's a complete change of mind there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no longer the drinker. Well, I see. <laughs> What the? Is <laughs> that hit? What did you roll? 21. A 21, yes. That is definitely going to hit. Um, as you are coming in. <laughs> boom, boom. It uh, looks at you, and you just feel this wave of l lethargy, like, just wash over you. Um, okay. Go ahead and make a uh, wisdom saving throw, sir. DC 17 wisdom saving throw? Yes, sir. Um, so basically what this, if it does work, is just going to negate your haste spell. Okay. Uh, so he was holding this? He was. Action. <laughs> All right. And so then now I need to roll a 1d6, and on a 5 or 6, it automatically recharges. Is that correct? Apparently, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Stop, um, stop doing it. Let me see. I want to do this. Oof. You guys are lucky. Fuck, man. How long does it take to recharge if he doesn't uh, roll? It's yeah. every turn. It's at the end oh, of every turn. I have to roll yeah. again. I'm trying to decide if I want to roll for this or use counterspell. It is your choice, sir. That's a pretty expensive choice, though. I'd prefer you to burn all of your spells, please. <laughs> <laughs> you see all the other combatants anxiously looking on and licking their lips. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> I think all these guys are. Uh, a, a fool and his haste are soon parted. Um, I guess I'll hold on to it. Let's just take a gamble. Here it goes. So I have a plus one to this. <laughs> yes! Oh, right Suck it, on the Sandal money. Bitch. Okay. <laughs> oh. so Dude, you what feel, are you? you do feel. you have an extra plus one to that? I do, like a, motherfucker! It looks like a plus one is added into the formula, so I'm just asking. <laughs> uh, plus three, plus one? Wait, what? It shouldn't be in there. It wasn't working before. Ooh, is it working? Did you miss it's it working. by one? It's working now. Boom, 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 boom. boom, 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 boom. The, plus <laughs> one, the plus one is my fucking wisdom, asshole. Uh, oh, shit. Never mind. <laughs> you can't blame one for trying. Bam, 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 bam. Back at you. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been so oh, much funnier, though. I hit, this, I hit this fucking asshole, right? Right in his little uh, loincloth for uh, 15 damage, and he has the boom boom on him. That is so rude. So I'm going to run away. All right. I believe I moved 30 feet. So I still have uh, 60 feet. It's 30. Is roll 20, like, really slow for you guys tonight? Just a bit. A little bit, yeah, for me. Okay. It's my turn. Okay. So as you do that, you hear a little... small little piece of, you know, little piece of this thing seems to be kind of breaking off as you stick in. You kind of chunk off a little, nice little piece of his groin area. Totally not cool. As you do so, you spin and immediately run away from this creature, kind of throwing off with your willpower this this wave of lethargy that kind of came over you. You're able to able to resist. Okay, is that the end of your turn, sir? Yep. Is it Aranus or Aranus? Uh, <laughs> Aranus. Aranus, yeah. Uh, oh, it is? <laughs> like, your anus? Not, not, not is it anus. An anus? <laughs> well, that's it's... what I shall call you, sir. 
Aranus. No Aranus. problem for you. So. Would you bring Uranus this way, please? Tell him we need him. <laughs> is Uranus here? It's never gonna get old. Which, which, which you gonna, one of you was that? You're gonna have to re-roll that character just based on the name alone. It was the one right next to you. It was the one right next to you. Uh, this is this is awesome. them them's fighting words. Uh, <laughs> at, at the moment, I've got more pressing matters. Um, so, Aranis. Let, let me repeat that one more time. Aranis. I would change it too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Aranis uh, moves a little closer to the golem. Okay. And uh, draws his bow, draws an arrow, and fires off two shots while uh, while calling out in the count's direction. I suppose the fool lives to dance another day. Ooh. He's really calling you out today. No love from the birdman. All right. Did we get rolls out? Range six hundred. A twenty-three and an eleven. Sadly, the eleven does not hit. That eight, though. Or that uh, eight damage. Uh, That's... it is. Yeah, it's eight. Eight, just regular, not magical. Non-magical damage. Non-magical damage. Man, does that even hit a stone golem? I don't know, does it? You really should have gone with Rayosan. Yeah, Hippo, I just, re I just realized that. Let's see. I think it's only packed. Uh, Bludgeoning, uh, piercing, and slashing from non-magical <laughs> weapons that I are not didn't remember adamantine. I was not Sadly, adamantine. your hero come, your first arrow comes in and just hits it on the shoulder and just plink, just kind of bounces off of it as the second one, second one flies by him. Sadly, ineffective on the giant creature. Ineffective, excuse me. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah, and that's it. Okay. See, I was expecting Rayosin when I put this thing in here. Aphex. You see this guy? He just kind of turns away from you and starts marching in towards this giant uh, stone creature. Almost ignoring you. Yeah, yeah, ignoring me. The stone creature is scaring me, though. I'm not too concerned about the guy in front of me. I'm just kind of nervous and frightened through the, about the whole thing here. So, um, <laughs> fair I'm enough, going, sir. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't really have all I got is action shit. So, I'm going to use my 30 feet of movement and get here if I can. Okay. Um,. I don't I, I don't want to do I don't want to strike him. So I'm going to use my firebolt against the big stone guy. Okay. Does that just does that roll it if I click it? Normal. It uh, definitely should. Yeah, I don't think it did though. Firebolt. There we go. 22 to hit, 12 damage. 22 to hit is definitely going to do the job. Yeah. Um do 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 do. do. And he is not immune to fire, so you are good to go. Oh, oh I accidentally rolled twice, but that first one was the first one. Okay. Roll 20 was being slow, sorry. So as you step forward, uh, you lash out, uh, gather some fire into your hand, and as you lash out with it, it solidly strikes the creature. Um, it doesn't uh, seem to roar out in pain or anything like that. You definitely see a nice uh, singed and burn mark across the, the place where it struck, though. Uh, is that the end of your turn, sir? Um, I don't think I have any bonus action, so yes, that'll be it. Okay. Grieger, you just see this bolt of fire come flashing past over your right shoulder and strikes into the golem. I can't hear you. You're muted. Whoops. Yeah, I'll just keep marching forward, and then this time I'll fire Eldritch Blast at the Golem. Okay. You're going to send out two of those bad boys? That's one. Ooh. 
That one damage, though. Uh, <coughs> both of those are going to hit, sir. So you do a total of five. All right. And I don't think don't need, don't have any bonus actions, so turn. Okay. Uh, what does your magic look like, sir? Like, what color is it? Is it fire? Is it energy? Hmm. Probably, like, they would look like knives thrown at them, given X-Blade. Okay. okay. Stop the top of my head. So you kind of create, like, these arcane-looking uh, knives that are just kind of have this greenish flames coming off of them, and as you throw that two of sense. them towards this creature, um, they definitely hit in, and as they do so, you see the magic almost kind of seep into the creature's cracks and crevices in its form, and then just kind of dissipate again. <laughs> nice hits, nice hits. The Stone Golem. As these hits come in, it's definitely noticing these attacks uh, from its right now. Um, as uh, as it does so, you see it seems to almost turn its attention from the count. Um, uh, as it does so, you see it turning its body in your direction, and it's again starts taking huge giant steps towards you as it does so however these uh once again you guys are getting used to it now at this point wait where was i uh you hear it a building and then as another piece of the stone golem is broken off by the uh What's a thunder wave? No. Uh, sonic boom? Booming blade. The booming blade of the count. 13 points of damage? Wow. Go ahead and roll a performance check for that, sir. That's, <laughs> okay. that's well earned. Like, so it happened. He just kind of like, he saw him moving and was like, put his rapier down and like went like this. <laughs> like waiting for the boom. Uh... A 10? I mean... There... Oh gosh, I mean, is that a... That's a success. We'll call that a success. You're good. Uh, the, the fans, you know, they're, they're impressed. They, they seem to, to like what you're putting down there. So, you know, they, they pick up a little bit. Start cheering, you know, for the count. Especially the crowd right behind me, right? The group that's right... Yeah, I mean, the, the crowd down at the, the south entrance, I mean, you can do no wrong. They're still throwing roses. I mean, you have no idea where they're yeah. even getting the roses at this point. <laughs> but they are definitely throwing those out there for you. The love will not end for the cow. I wonder if... Can everybody... I, I, I'm just curious. Can everybody roll a perception check, maybe? If they had seen something before we started the game? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting into <laughs> roleplay. That's scary territory in the arena. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Never mind. <laughs> you know, there's a druid out there doing druid craft, making money, just handing out flowers. He to you just handed out flowers to everybody. Yes, that's exactly that's what happened. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the count did not bribe a group of people to throw roses at him before the game started. Oh, why would he do that? That would be awkward. That would be crazy. That would be so crazy. Nobody buys fans. That doesn't happen. <laughs> so I'm just looking to see if this guy is in within range. Um, he also needs to roll a d6. I don't know why roll 20 is so slow tonight. I apologize for that. It's really taking an extra amount of time. He does not get his slow back, so... And he is not within range to attack. So that stone golem is done, but he is bearing down on you, Gregor. He has got a giant mole in his hands, and if he didn't have a face set in stone, he would be looking very unhappy. We are back to the count. Um, what are you going to do, sir? My normal shit. <laughs> All that normal stuff? Yeah. So oh. I, I got skipped. Did you? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, how did that even happen? Error, 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 error. 
Fuck things. Oh my god, it's so oh, your no, turn. No, no, that, that's alright. I'm doing my job as a rogue. I'm not noticed. God. You are, man. I mean, you're hiding from me. Like, I can't even see you with the GMIs. Let's when see. you when you mock your betters, the universe responds. Oh! Let's universe. See here. Um, all he's gonna do is move uh, Wait, over here. I think yeah. I'm the universe tonight. What? <laughs> <laughs> So he's slowly getting the, the feel of the battlefield. He's like, all right, he's over there, he's over there, he's over there. Okay. Everybody wants my head. He's kind of like super paranoid um, being an uh, Ed's cultist. Um, at this point, he's sort of kind of like, all right, well, let's see what happens. He kind of crouches a little bit, looking around, um, and uh, that's my turn. You definitely see this saw blade to your right here just spinning away. Just ready to deliver It's death. It's currently spinning right now. Oh, yeah. That sucker's spinning all the time. Oh, I know what happened. That roll 20 is so killing me tonight. I can't do anything without it taking 20 minutes. There you go. Delayed. Kind of worth... I don't know. You know? Like I said, one day I'll be good at this job. It'll be I'm awesome. I'm digging these sound effects. I'm digging them. <laughs> I'll be good at this, and it'll be so awesome for everybody involved. Um, so <laughs> that is going to be the end of your turn, sir. We are to the count. All right. I'm going to keep attacking the same spot. Oh, man. You are just junk happy right now. <laughs> He's going for it. It's a 14 hit. Oh, sadly, a 14 is not going to hit, sir. As you come running in, you stab out with the rapier. Somehow, uh, the exposed rock junk uh, distracts you just a little bit, and you are sadly not aiming correctly with this attack. All right, I'm going to use my haste action to uh, dash. Disengage. <laughs> I don't need to. I'm mobile. Oh. <laughs> uh, there. Okay. Sadly, it's <laughs> true. All right. So as you stab in and miss, you uh, get your way around. You definitely notice the beetles covering the bottom of that pit as you're running past. Um, host connection detected. Routing hollow feed now. Somebody hosted us. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. As, as he's running away after he misses, he says, All in the plan! All in the plan! <laughs> so you see all of these beetles scrambling around on the ground below you. To the to the right of you, you see all these tentacles kind of reaching oh. out of the pit. You know, some of them kind of grasping up towards the edges, but then slithering back down inside of there. <laughs> That's just like the party I was at the last week. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Everyone's got to get their kinks out. So, we, is that the end of your turn, sir? Yes. All right. Aranus. Aranus. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, Aranus. Aranus. <laughs> Aranus remembers his name. Does not sound like anus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It seems like canon now. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's lore. It's official lore. It is. Maturity rules. <laughs> Community. So he, no he notices. Community has uh, spoken. <laughs> he notices the arrow laying at uh, the spot where the golem was at before, and turns around and sees, you know, the individual sneaking up behind him and goes, "Well, this changes things," and uh, starts moving away from him to okay. here, and then like lifts both his hands in the air and starts chanting. Damn, son, it's coming at you and uh uses his racial ability to to cast now uh a, a dark mist begins to to form around him and it's darkness you can clearly tell it's the darkness spell but it it takes on like a like a shape not like a fully defined but it's it looks like it resembles a giant toad 
and the toad is facing in the direction of the guy that's been following him all along. It's just this toad crouching down, looking at him uh, with glowing red eyes. <laughs> and that is turn. So you see this thing you're chasing and the eyes, the demonic red eyes coming out of this smoky form of frog-like darkness. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. That is it, yeah. Apex. After seeing that, I uh, I realize I don't really know what the hell to do or what the <laughs> hell I'm doing. Uh, so I just kind of run about 25, 30 feet. Sure. Um, and then I'm going to take out from a, from a little pouch around my belt. It looks like a mostly eaten pork chop. Oh. And uh, I'm going to just chuck it as hard as I can towards the golem and I'm going to cast pork chops pork chops oh darn it I was almost I almost did the grease spell today and I didn't do it <laughs> okay so we're gonna so that was pork chop at first level okay <laughs> so where is the, where's the actual like just like perfectly around him like that. How big is uh, how big is the effect? It's a ten there? foot square. So okay. just like that. Close enough. We know it's the square that the, the big yeah. square is in. Okay. So uh do, 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 do. difficult so that's terrain. A, so that's DC. gonna have his movement, right? Uh well it's a DC twelve Dex save. If he fails, uh I think he falls prone. Oh. Yep. And it's difficult to rain. Man, that is not going to be good for this giant so. rock <laughs> man. Deck save. Yes. Oh, with the seven, as you cast this spell, the spell, the pork chop like slides down. It like hits at its feet on the first bounce, and then on the second bounce, as it lands, this just big splatter of nasty old, you know, twelve day old grease just comes out of it just splatters all across the area over there and you see this thing standing there as it mm -hmm. makes the mistake of taking one tiny little step it slips in the grease starts slipping again starts doing the cartoon legs and then falls backwards <laughs> onto its back awesome oh, well done and um i don't have anything else i'm just gonna I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna turn and if and and for for my bonus action, I'm gonna say to the count, I'm like, go get him, and that'll be it. The teamwork. The oh, teamwork. Someone dares command me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the audacity! Oh, the audacity! <laughs> the chaps are fun. Backfire. Yeah. <laughs> Gregor. Move up ten feet. Okay. And I'll swing it at him. Or why am I still in edit mode? Okay, take a big swing, sir. And yes, I do make two attacks. And you have advantage, yeah, by yeah. the way. Remember, you have advantage. Oh. That's true. This thing is. Just, just roll like right one now. more with advantage or something. Boop. There you go. So there's three attacks? Uh, you said we. I forgot the advantage thing, so that's why I re-rolled one of them. Oh, so roll again, then. Yeah, you'd have to roll one more time, sir. You're making two attacks? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so a 22 and a 19, those are both going to hit. So we'll take the uh, 8 damage and the 9 damage. And it is total. magic. <laughs> and it is magic, perfect. That is and exactly what you need. All right, so as it's laying on the ground, you come in with your halberd, and you just kind of do a fancy little swing. You bring it down. You see sparks oh, come off of it. One as, second. Uh, you see sparks come off of it where the blade makes connection. You see a big chunk of rock come off. As it kind of bounces off, you take the momentum and you swing it down around on the other side. As it hits the other shoulder, more sparks come off of your blade where it meets the rock, and another small piece of rock flies Actually, off of the beast. Uh, I made a mistake. 
add six to each damage because I forgot to switch it to charisma. Okay. Um, because you're a hexblade. Six. Yep. To each damage. Oh, you can't use two ended weapons though. Uh, Maybe if you can, if it's a packed with, weapon. Oh, the plus if one. If it's created yeah, yeah, yeah. packed to the blade, it applies to anything. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I forgot. You're right. So that's an extra twelve damage. Yep. Okay. And plus six to hit as well from that. Yeah, definitely go ahead and make sure you write that in there or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fixed now. Come on, roll twenty, you're killing me, Smalls. Okay, I have that adjusted and it is still prone. Is that the end of your turn, sir? Yes. Okay. On its turn, uh, you see this thing uh, definitely kind of, you know, moving its body, trying to get up off of the ground. Um, it stands itself up. Does it need to make another dex roll? How long does the grease last? It's only if you enter or end your turn there. Okay, so, so if can... he steps out, then he'd be fine. Yeah, the duration yeah. is one minute, um, but anything that enters has to make the deck save. Are you over yet? Okay. Or ends its turn there, has to make the deck save or falls prone. So essentially everybody that goes in there has to make a deck save. Hey honey, but don't tell me when I tell you it's bedtime that you're Okay, that should do it. Okay. Uh, Probably shouldn't play in the garage when it's nine degrees out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is going to move to there and it is going to take a big swing at you. I'm guessing that's me. Yes, sir. Yep, so no one else in there. <laughs> All right, it gets uh, two slam attacks on you. You see, you uh, see it reach up, slams down 26 big hit points on you. As it does so, it reaches the weapon back up, goes to slam it down on you. Oh my God. As it hits you for another 12 points of damage. You do not want to be hit by this creature, sir. And you see it almost gains, uh, you feel like a mystical aura seem to coalesce about it again. Hey, okay. hey look in there, Grigor. Go ahead. Tim um, so uh, Nim sort of kind of sees this uh, big black um, cloud of uh, frog or toad, was it, with a red eye, and uh, he just figures, "All right, well, that's that." Um, he's gonna run uh, this direction. Oops, sorry. He's gonna run this way and dash as a bonus action. Run here and uh, cast. Um, it's like uh, right here. The creature uh, has a lot of a lot of ones. So <laughs> he'll just sort of kind of like put his shield down. He's always like kind of like covering himself with a shield, just he's, you know, paranoid. He's like, you know, look out, mm -hmm. cast a spell real quick, and hope he hits it. Okay. So, is that, um, oh, am I mute? Okay, see, I, um... Were you whispering yourself? Yes, I was. It Let is me, the thing uh, to do. 
Yeah. You guys oh. just need to go whisper sweet nothings to yourself in the corner. It, oh, the it, cool it, was, it only did seven damage because it, it so seventeen for hit and then seven damage because I rolled three ones. Let me uh. Seventeen uh, you want is going to roll again? Be, no, that's fine. Seventeen is going to be okay. exactly what you need to hit, sir. All right. Seven damage is all. Okay. Uh, was that on uh? On the on this right here on the on golem. This, on the golem. Okay. Where is he? There he is. Okay. Is that the uh, end of your turn, sir? Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay. We're back to the top of the order. Count really did not like being commanded. Is that a wall of flame between us? That's correct. Sweet. It won't stop him, though. <laughs> he did not like that. Okay. Oh. Back to normal. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> That's you were saying. Uh, yeah. He's gonna attack this guy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. That's fair. I've just I've earned it. <laughs> don't don't kill me in, in uh, <laughs> Don't you know you never attack your GM in the campaign on the other day? Come on, uh, man. <laughs> I've earned it. I've earned it. Eric's been Eric's been a good sport in my bullshit. Oh goddamn. Oh, that's, that's how you run into an ancient red dragon. <laughs> that's very sporting. That is how you run into a giant golem creature. Oh yeah, there was the clockwork dragon. The clockwork dragon is coming. So yeah, that is twelve damage at you. And you have, um, so if you move from now, like, you'll trigger, you'll get 2d8 damage on you. You have the booming blade on you. So you're aware. Um, I believe I'm 50 feet, right? So I'm gonna make another attack. And a second attack. Yeah, that hits too. Man. It's time for brutality. Hey man, it's been almost an hour. Like it's a lot longer than I've expected. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I was kind of thinking you might win this week. We'll see. It's not over yet. Everyone came in with this plan to team up on the count, but it's not happening. And he's picking you Did apart. Did people have a plan to team up on me? One at a time. He's going to pick you all apart. I'm telling you. I don't know. Uh, so what is what is your guy wearing? Uh, he has a sword in his hand, Adam. It's a yeah, like a long sword okay. and uh, just the normal, like wooden round shield, I'm metal band out of around here. it. Do I get an opportunity? You do not, sir. Or do you use your mobile feet? Yeah, I use yeah. my mobile feet. Nice. Uh, I believe I. Have... That's just it? a passive thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. If, basically, yeah. if I attack somebody, even if I don't hit, uh, they can't make att attacks of opportunity against me. So then I have, I believe I have. Uh, Five more feet of movement? No, I'm good. Okay. I mean, that pit's right there. You could just step right over and... Oh, yeah, I'm not going to... Actually, I'm going to go right here. <laughs> All right, oh. I'm done. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> the pit wall crumbles, and you tumble in with the beetles. I don't know what happened. It was terrible. All right. Can I just call you Ran? Is that the least offensive version? <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, so ran. <laughs> uh, the the toad like ho like hops like hops over here. Okay. And you hear a voice echoing out from the darkness. Oh, is it not you, attached? You can move the darkness. Oh, sweet. You can actually like just that group shift? group click yeah, yeah. it and move them both. Cool. Um, so you hear a voice echoing out of the darkness. I thought we were going to play nice, and uh, the toad like like pushes like uh, I don't know how to how to phrase this, but the toad like moves his head forward, opens his mouth, and an arrow fires out of the toad's mouth at the gentleman with the halberd. Over at uh, Grigor. Yes. Bing. He's trying to snipe for, for points. Look at him. 
Um, Is that towards me? No, or he's aiming at Grigor over here. Oh, okay. Okay, well, a, I believe a 20 is going to hit. And that's turn. How much uh, damage is that going to be for you, sir? Is that enough? As the... comes in? I am very dead. Oh, shit! I'm loving the sound effects. <laughs> Alright, so as the bolt comes in... Whoo, Sticks you in your chest as you fall down to your knees. You fall down to the ground and it actually pushes the bolt through the rest of the way and it pops out of your back as you lay in there bleeding out across the sands of the arena. Our first champion is down for the night. And is that the end of your turn, sir? That's it. Okay. Okay. Apex, so you see this guy just drop right around that firewall from you. After he took a couple of big hits. I took a couple of big hits, and uh, and I'm down on one knee now, looking around, seeing that, oh my gosh, I am, uh, I am not prepared for the shit that goes on here. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to uh, take a deep breath and use my second wind as a bonus action. To gain. Yeah, character skill now. Imagine, like, imagine if see my character just grow skeleton wings. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> just fly up. <laughs> uh, no, like this. So I plus five, plus seven. That's good. And then uh, I'm going okay. to look. Now, can I? Can I see? I can move. That's fine. You um, can see. Uh, it's uh, it's just partial cover, but you can see. Okay, yeah. hold on. I did, I did warn you, Adam. Ah, oh, shit, that's right. <laughs> uh, did. That's why I didn't want to move. All right. Yeah, you 600, 600 damage. That's all right. You start all moving right. over towards the end of the fire. Did you hear it? <laughs> yeah, Lord I turned just stabbed. to see it explode in my face. I made sure to warn you. You did. No, you did everything just kidding. more than you did. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, what's that? What's that? Yeah, why aren't you using this stuff early, Mike? What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> to use these things. All right, dude, come at me. All right, so I'm going to look over at him, and I'm going to uh, cast Magic Missile to Ooh. do four force damage. What a fucking joke. Yeah, two more. That's though. not right, is it? You yeah. Because it's separate bits. One D4 so, each. Uh, click yeah. it three times. Um, right. Oof. Is that reaction coming out? Oh yes, the the count brings up his rapier and just goes kubicha, 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 and knocks him aside. <laughs> so what? It does nothing. Yeah, it does nothing. Fantastic. Can can you post too? Uh, that way, it's easier to track. I right will. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as. As the hits are coming in, you see the count turn around, and just with the wiggle of fingers and a quick word, you see this uh, bluish glow of energy in front of him as he's able, easily able to deflect the the missiles as they're coming in, almost carelessly, without effort. Is that going to be the end of your turn, sir? Actually, um... Yeah, I can't move. I can just take an additional action. So I am going to just get it over with and burn my axe and surge um, and cast magic missile again. Uh, it's it's you shield us for the whole uh, round. Yeah, I could have oh, let it that is. go. But, yeah. It is. <laughs> All right, I'll cast magic missile at the golem. No, I should cast it at you. I said it. Dude, well, just seriously, no, don't worry it. about it. Don't. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Well, fine, then. I'll cast Magic Missile at the Golem. Okay. Cast him up. Can I just roll three D6? Because clicking that a bunch is... D4 good. is plus one. God damn it, I can't even get that right. <laughs> no worries, man. Three D4 plus three. Three. Is it, is it plus... Because it's plus one to each missile. Oh. 
Well, there. Eight, eight points of damage. Uh, All right. Eight points of force damage. And that is magical damage, so that is definitely going to hurt the big golem. <laughs> Once roll 20 catches up, we'll be good. I don't have a magic missile sound effect yet. I'll have to get one. Let's go pew pew pew! Pew 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 pew! pew. <laughs> As you pull out your Han Solo gun. <laughs> and you are good to go. Okay, it is not immune to magic missile. So it does definitely take those eight points of damage. Didn't like that. All right. You guys are wearing it down. You're definitely starting to see the, the burn marks and the holes and the crumbling and the sword blows. And they're, they're definitely adding up. Definitely starting to make an effect here. And is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Okay. This stone golem turns from the fallen warrior looking over this other person that's been casting magic and starts moving forward to there as it does so again the big giant lumbering steps as it comes ever closer readying the maul in its hands but it doesn't seem to make an attack seems to be holding pokey things <laughs> I just want to say pokey things because <laughs> pokey things in my mind that's always how I see it when you when you join Kronos world I'm like pokey, pokey <laughs> I almost made a Pokemon <laughs> joke I could now but... it's a Pokemon my daughter says alright you what are you gonna do um what are you gonna do to this thing what's what's uh what's this thing here that's like a person in there right like a zombie of some kind that, uh, as you look over to that thing, you actually see uh, chains coming from each one of those four uh, rock pillars that are in there. You see uh, this creature down in there. It's kind of hunched over. And as it's kind of pulling on these chains, you see it. For Go ahead and roll a perception check since you're looking okay. in there. Right. Oh, I didn't bring out my, per my skills. I got to <clears throat> real quick. <clears throat> No problem. Uh, the creature itself, you see this kind of uh, uh, gross, uh, grotesque and misshapen form. Uh, it looks like its uh, bones have been broken and reformed over and over again. Um, it's got this huge maw that's just full of these long dagger-like teeth. And it just, you know, as it uh, screams out, uh, it definitely feels like it is some sort of a fiendish creature some sort of demon or devil okay um all right don't want to mess with that um so he knows there's something in here like he saw the guy moving in there and he's now trying to he knows it shoots arrows so it's like all right i need to get closer but not too close but close but close enough but not too close so okay. he's kind of like he talks to himself a lot <laughs> as you're moving in you notice in the pit that it the chains aren't so much attached to the columns you see them actually almost on their own accord like they were alive slink around the pillar and grasp onto it a little bit tighter and then slide back around it again like it's almost like it's holding these pillars with these chains interesting <sighs> to risk it or not to risk it that is a question of the day I can't do it right now. This is my first arena. I gotta survive. I gotta survive. Oh, no. That's what everybody says. <laughs> Until you smack him with a spinning fire blade of wall and whatnot. All of those um, things. <laughs> uh, he's actually gonna run this way. He's actually going to dash. Um, 20, 10. Yeah, perfect. So I can get all the way next to him. So once I enter this, what happens? What? And that was your exact footpath? Yep. Go ahead and roll me a deck set check, sir. As you run across uh, into the darkness, you realize that you are right on the edge of that pit. So acrobatics or, or death save? Either one is fine, sir. 
Okay, that's sufficient as you feel like it, you're, I mean, literally right on the edge of this thing, you feel it start to crumble away a little bit as you're able to get your foot up just in time to, to not fall down into the uh, spinning saw blade of death that is right below you and just wants to eat you alive. Okay. Um, so I know he's in here somewhere, but I can't see him, so my instant reaction is to just like a coward, not coward, but like kind of go down and then um, do that cantrip. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, um, it has no effect. It does not. Does you can't have... see me. It says each creature of your choice that you can see within range. Ah. So not even if I know that he's in there, it doesn't work. I mean, I you can mean... make an attack, but... Yeah, you could have attacked him with disadvantage. You can still attack, I would imagine, right? Like, I mean, you, yeah. since you didn't realize that. Okay, my, I mean, I... I yeah, no, I'll, 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 I mean, it's kind of rules as written, which gets annoying at a certain point, but yeah. I would say to go ahead and make an attack. Um, Can I do a... Alright, cool. So I'll do an attack. Do it at disadvantage. Do uh, you guys use the the rule of two or, or no? What do you mean? Like uh, roll two instead of just doing. Oh, two just use you, you have the advantage disadvantage toggle. Yeah, there should right? be a Up toggle. Top? Yeah, there is an option. Right. Yeah, just click disadvantage then roll. Where is that toggle at? On the the core page on the top right below your alignment and experience points. There's a hole. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a little bit complicated sheet, but once you get used to it, it's one of my favorites. Very versatile. All right, cool. I haven't even checked in on Twitch in a while. What is going on out here? Ooh, Who's hanging out. That hits. Holy shit! Navigator. <laughs> so. Navigator um, and Genji hanging out. Due to that, so I'm assuming I I, I felt something. A little dance. Bam. And darkness goes down too. Oh! Oh, the darkness goes down. Oh shit! On the bird man. Um, so that then allows me to uh, do this. Um, take the shelf action. It also allows me to do this. Oh boy. You you, you already used your bonus action, right? Uh, um, yeah, you're right. I did. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? I love that. That was just for you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to play that for the first time ever in the battle arena. I appreciate you. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sorry about that. What were you gonna do? I had to, I <laughs> no, totally that's had that's to. my turn. I can't do anything else at this point. That's it. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate you. Count. <laughs> it is your turn. So. <laughs> well then, I shall continue my engagement. So if I run along this pit right here, like that, or it's only like that, that I'll have to make deck saves. Uh, like if you were to stand here. Oh gosh. I'm over. I'm over at the slurp pit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you were to stand like on that 20, square, that would be a deck save. If you're on this square, it's not. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Fifty. Oof. Right there for Apex. Look at him going in for the kill. Well. I learned my lesson from last time. <laughs> Why are you whispering me all this stuff, Hungry? <laughs> and I'm Oh shit, am I whispering you? I didn't mean to. Cast shield as a reaction to increase my AC by five. Okay. What's your AC now? Twenty-three. <laughs> Nineteen is gonna miss. Alright. So as you uh, stab in just at the last second you see him you obviously understand like the it. spell and recognize it and you see the shield the magical shield block your attack. I don't like it's being done to me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna attack again. 
Okay. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, look at that, Damn. which definitely gives me the opportunity to play Critical this. Here we go. Oh god. Yes. I like that cheese. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I feel like this too. <laughs> yeah. All right, so nine damage. Yeah. All right, nine damage. I'm still barely standing. Wow, this fucking golem better not take you down. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no shit. It's coming. <sighs> Boom. Boom. Um. Five. Okay. All right. As you again, oh my gosh, what happened? As you again rush away, this time to the north, he is unable to take a swing at you. No, I believe that is the end of your turn, sir. Yep. Okay. Bran. This guy is all up in your business. He just knocked Ran, down your darkness. Yeah, Rand looks shocked that it went down. And then as he kind of collects his wits, glares at him, points a finger and goes, I curse you, I curse you. And casts, well, not so much casts, but uses an ability, or a feature, rather. Oh, the Hexblade uh -oh. curse. And then um, <clears throat> lifts his hands again and starts chanting. And uh, the darkness toad reappears. Oof. Uh, where the heck is you should this? be able to pull out the toad. Yeah, I'll grab it. Do I... Uh, Just drag it by the name. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. It's not working for some reason. Is it not? Oh, I know what's wrong. I'll get it for you. Okay. I don't want to fix it right this second, but... Okay, so uh, you all of a sudden, uh, you just disappear as the inky black darkness uh, just envelops you and comes around you. Again, kind of taking the form of the toad, but from inside of it, you can't really tell what's going on there. And... Uh... That is the. That's it. He's not moving anywhere. Okay. All right. We are back to Apex, sir. You just got stuck. Is that right? Or did he miss you the second time? No, I crit him. He oh, that's right. Me the second time. That was the critical hit. Yes. Luckily, he rolled like shit, though. <laughs> Um, and then you also, this big giant creature seems to be bearing down upon you as well. Yeah, I'm on. Uh, jeez. <laughs> Might as well just jump into the firewall. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Um, I guess just out of pure panic, looking at the golem, I'm going to cast Firebolt at it. You're not proc, by the way. Booming Blade didn't proc on you, so you can move. Oh, that's good to know. Thanks. I assumed it did. <coughs> I thought it, oh, it doesn't roll until I click the effect thing. 14. Damn it. Yep. Yep, sadly, that is not going to hit, sir. I am going to flee. <laughs> and move 30 feet back. And, uh... That'll be my turn. That's what's supposed to happen. Crazy. What have I done? Okay. Alrighty, you definitely move back over to there. And that is going to be the end of your turn. So, the stone golem is going to take some more steps. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And it seems to relentlessly seem to have fixed its attention upon you. Chest. Poke. What you gonna do? So, um, so he definitely doesn't feel right. Um, but now he he knows that this guy's there, so he's kind of trying to figure like darkness. I don't like darkness. 
I don't really, really like darkness. Um, so he doesn't really know what to do. In uh, in order to try and grab him, why would I have to roll? Um, uh, do you, do you have a free hand? Are you dropping a uh, weapon? The grab uh, would be uh, athletic. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it would be athletic. Oh, yeah, though. I would have to drop this shield. I can't, I can't. I don't want to do that. Remember, you you um, can do a bonus action before your action. Yeah. yeah, you can you can try to shove before you attack. Oh, I I didn't know I could do that. Yeah. Um, so is that what athletics at disadvantage or? Shove, yeah, that's athletics too. I mean, you could step around him and try and push him into the saw blade. Um, just saying. <laughs> no, he he, he, would, he, <laughs> just, he likes just he likes he likes things that are personal. Um, he's gonna try and attack again. Although this time, though, going forward, I forgot last time, but I do have um, this feature on it. I'm not gonna call it out for last time because I I forgot it was there. So okay, sure thing. Um, so, so necrotic damage. Disadvantage. Ooh. That is a miss. Sadly, that is going to miss, sir. <clears throat> okay, do you want to try and move it all? I'm gonna. You would uh, take us a, a hit, a free hit. He moved around anyway. Right. Um, I haven't you taken can... a bonus action, so I can still shove. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So, I'm not going to try and do that. Athletics? Yeah. You going to try and step around him? Um, no, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock it out. He knows he's really close to that edge, so he doesn't want to risk it. So, he's going to try and just kind of like, you know, tackle him a little bit. It's a it's a bonus action with the feet that I have, Shield Master. Yeah, it's so. five foot shot, right? Uh, or, or it can or be prone. to knock prone. Yeah, he can knock prone. Ooh, twenty two. That is going to be tough. Let's go yep, ahead and I'm, I'm prone. <laughs> okay, so you're knocking him prone on that one. Yeah. All right. So now your attacks will no longer have disadvantage. They'll just be straight attacks. Um, you would have advantage, but he does yep. have the darkness. Fair enough. <clears throat> okay, is that the end of your turn, sir? Yes, it is. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, the count, it is back to you, sir. Okay. Um, damn it, only he was five feet closer. <laughs> uh, whatever. I guess I should center the screen on the count. Thirty-five. Going back in for the kill. Oh shit, he's coming anybody, in. Does anybody watch um, uh, that blacksmith show? No? Alright. No, sadly. I do not get the reference. Which one? Men at Arms? For, uh, Forge and Fire. I've, oh, I've seen episodes, but I haven't yeah. like, okay. watched it. I was Man, saying kill! I'm going in for the kill! So 25 to hit, Adam. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> 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 He's not down. Yep. I'm out. Is, oh, that, shit. is that the death blow? Uh, I'm right. certainly unconscious, yep. As as the count comes in He's uh do you wanna describe your attack? Um Hmm. I think he would distract him by like throwing a wine cup at him. And then strike it. <laughs> you still have the cup in the middle. Yeah. Of this. Oh, he has an endless right? supply of cups. He keeps yeah. like throwing them away and taking them. And then, uh, yeah, right through the throat. Um, uh, real quick. Right. Go ahead and roll a performance check on that. All right. As the crowd seems to appreciate the flashy antics from the count as he makes a successful performance check. They definitely seem to be appreciating the bravado, even even the contempt a little bit as he throws the wine glass over. Okay, one second. Um, probably be taking a break in about 10 minutes or so. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's uh, turn off that obnoxious tree. Nice. And... Is that the end of your turn? You got some movement left there? Yeah, I'm going to use my bonus thing to dash. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stay with 
like ten feet, uh, more than ten feet away from that guy. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Right, that's more than ten feet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Uh, how how much longer do you still have haste on? Uh, another five. Uh, that, this is at the end of this will be my sixth round. Okay. Thirty-five. So I moved to thirty. That's sixty-five. Uh, so I have thirty-five left, and then another hundred. Jeez. I'm dashing. Okay. You guys better watch out over here. It's coming to get you. Actually, I shall uh, stay over here. My bad. Sorry, guys. Is that okay? I'll just do whatever you want. Yeah, Are you just trying away. to let him fight it out over there, or what? <laughs> I'm just going to chill over here. Why don't you go fight that stone golem? No, well, I don't want him to slow me, so... <laughs> he <would. laughs> All right, I'm He's not going to do that. Don't worry about it. All right. Um, it's, been, it's been six rounds, right? Maybe. Is anybody... I have not been given track. I th I'm pretty sure... Okay. I'm not. I've, I've been writing it down, but... I'm not good enough at this job yet. I'll, I will be there one day. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I'll check the log. I'm done. Ran. Aranis, like, he's, he's laying prone, and he lets go of the bow and just leaves it on the ground. And, and uh, you know one of those stands that you'll see in movies sometimes where somebody's feet are planted, and they just kind of stand up from that without moving their feet? He mm -hmm. kind of slithers to his feet that way. That's okay. creepy, bro. <laughs> yeah. He left the bow behind, and he draws uh, a long sword that's faintly glowing purple. And uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to post this one so you guys can see what it is, but just to not spam the screen uh, in the future, I'm just going to say I do it. But with his bonus action, he, uh, he uses this. And then swings at the rogue. Damn. Um. Miss. Ooh. Oh shit! Play the song. I forgot to do advantage. I oh. forgot to do piano, So here, here it is. John, don't play the song. Oh man. <laughs> uh, and does does a seventeen hit? Does not hit. It does not. So he swings again. I am so disappointed. And misses again. <laughs> It was so close to being able to listen to the song again, man. You have a wah bam 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 I bam I I bam 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 is not unfortunate. All right. Sadly, Aphex is no longer in the rotation. Next time. Next time, buddy. So, the Stone Golem is next. Seeing uh, his chosen victim is down, he is going to turn towards the champion and start taking those big heavy steps over there. They put your bowl. You need to start scraping the food out. You just talk about this. Um, I'm charging my phone on it right now, but when it's done, you can. What time is it? Book, it is your turn, sir. Um, he definitely felt something clinging with his shield um, coming front. Um, so he's going to try and sort of kind of do this whole body movement where he's going to try and, and shove before anything else. And uh, the, the shove, actually, the shove check would be a disadvantage, too. Since okay. Yeah. Fair enough. If I can find it. Athletics. 
Oh, oh I'm sorry. No, oh, hold on. The wrong way. I was like, oh, yep. fuck. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, still, yeah. it's still a... Uh, it's a 15, I think, right? No, 14, right? Uh, right. Sorry about oh, yeah. that, guys. There we go. Of course. That not working, he will attack. A disadvantage. Man. He is able to get out of the way. That does hit. But... Cool. The big 19. But darkness does not go down this time. Alright, um, there's also this thing. Um, <coughs> uh, okay, wisdom save? Uh, yes. yeah, let me see the DC, hold on. Or uh, suffer oh, disadvantage. He makes it. He makes it. <laughs> Oh, this is say the DC level. Yeah. Oh, it wow. doesn't, doesn't but matter. I... <laughs> <laughs> what? I am wise to your Critical tricks. Hit. How you like that cheese? Maybe that's what you need. Another critical hit. And at the end of that, Ran like jumps up like one foot back. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze frame. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a performance check, sir. <laughs> well, too bad nobody can see him do it. That's okay. It's that, oh, the, the toe does it. The toe does it. it. <laughs> the toe does it. <laughs> they feel it. That's funny. Nice work. Nice, nice work. Nice work. That is a uh, performance check for you, sir. As the crowd goes wild. Um, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, that's the end of my life. All right. The count. Okay. The uh, count it is. Here. What is that, happening here? Oh, oh shit! Oh, pew Oleg, pew! Oleg, Oleg likes the likes the sound of this. I sure do. <laughs> Dim, sexy, and uh, uh, spell effects too. Bam! Oh yeah. I have to set all the tokens to uh, the character sheet. So, oh, come on, roll twenty. Bill 20 is being such a bastard tonight. All right, boom. You got yourself an earth bolt there, sir. Nice. As that thing, uh, the, the earth splits and cracks as it's going towards this giant creature. As it comes in, it does need to roll that deck save. And we will see if it can do it. Oh, shit. I'm, uh... Dex, come on, roll 20, you can do it. Oh, with the Dex of 9 and the minus 1. Not Ooh, and, quite and he's proud. enough as it uh, kind of, one of its legs, as the earth splits open, one of its feet kind of gets lodged down into the crack as it falls down to its other knee. You see it trying to force its leg back out of there. 20 bludgeoning damage. What? As it kind of crunches down on its leg, you see almost the whole bottom of it just cracked all the way up uh, through its calf up to its knee. It looks like an extremely weakened point. Now, does that break when when something's holding its action? If it's damaged, it goes prone. Does that break the, the held action? Uh, there's a concentration check if it's holding, okay. uh, like a spell. A spell. But yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how that works for attacks, though. I don't think there's a check. Well, yeah. isn't that like a spell ability? That it has? The slow? Yeah, it is a spell ability. Um, <clears throat> but uh, doesn't that just dissipate at the end of the round anyway if you're holding an action? No, but I'm saying uh, I could still attack it. So I'm, I'm wondering, does it have to roll like a con save to keep, to keep the held action or something? Well, I think the held action just disappears at the end of the round, doesn't it? Uh, I think it'd carry over and you could use a reaction 
uh, up until like a trigger happens or it's until it's your turn again. I thought otherwise, it was until your yeah. Is it until your next turn or is it? It's, in that yeah, round? It, it's until your next turn. Otherwise, people that are at the bottom of the turn order would always yeah. get on those things. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I'm wondering. So does he have to roll like a con save or something or? Uh, no. It's not so part it's still, of your spell. So it's still held then. Yeah. Okay. Fuck that shit. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, fuck this guy. All right, um, I really need like a, a throwing daggers or something. <laughs> I shall run away. You're wearing him down. He's about half. Yeah. Well, well, less than half, actually. Um, oh, great. Right over here. Okay. So it takes him half his movement to get up, right? So. Yeah, yeah, he can't even get close to you. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Ran, it is your turn, sir. Uh, purple motes of energy seem to gather at the outsides of the uh, darkness toad and then just kind of seep in, and uh, Aranis uses his bonus action to empower the longsword again and uh, turns to the rogue and goes, I see you, and takes a swing. <laughs> and misses. Oof. Oh, shit. I forgot to toggle it again. Fuck. There it is. Ooh, that uh, just uh, hits. Although, see, uh, all right. Based on 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 the whole thing with the other one, I'm assuming this doesn't work either, right? This uh, thing here. There you can see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. Um, so it does hit. So then yeah. he he swings one more time. So that's 15. Oh shit! I, ignore, ignore the second one. Yeah. So fifteen misses, and that is turn. Okay. So how much was the total damage? Uh, Twenty three. Twenty three. So thirty six minus fifteen. Man, it's getting fierce. It yep. is getting fierce in the arena. Okay. And is that the end of the turn for Aranus? Aranus. Yeah. Aranus? Aranus, yeah. Aranus. Alanis Morrison. Or Aranus. <laughs> Damn it. You guys have me saying it now. Ran it's, ends his turn. <laughs> it's Alanis now. Yeah, Atlantis in, in just a little bit. <laughs> Alanis Morissette. She's going to start singing songs to us and shit. 23, you said? Uh, yeah, 23. Okay. And it is now the golem's turn. You see this thing kind of pull out its foot kind of stomp it onto the ground as it gets itself back up to its feet slowly ponderously takes the 15 foot march forward relentlessly marching on toward the count and again it does seem to be holding itself back for something Poke, man, it is time for some desperate revenge here, sir. Um, I'm gonna take the shove action again. This is this is my saving grace at this point because I need to drop that. I mean, if you stepped around him and tried to push him down towards the saw blade, then you'd have to roll a deck save to see if he falls in there. I'm I'm out of range of it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe I don't know. You look like you're right on the edge there. But see, he wouldn't. He wouldn't know that it's there, though. Like I wouldn't know to step around them. So, like I mean, mechanically I could, but I I like to work, like you know, keep it in character. I appreciate um, you. So he's like he sees just a bunch of smoke in him, but he knows uh, that where the hits came from. Obviously, um, he felt it. <laughs> Twenty three yeah. points of them. You definitely know this. This being is here in the darkness in front of you. Damn it. So suck. Sadly, the 13 is probably not going to be enough. It is not, I'm sure. Well, you never know. That's true. I could you do never I know. could really suck with this. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Just barely just enough as you guys are struggling. Throw more salt on the wound. <laughs> <laughs> He's able to just suddenly kind of move his shoulder and slip out of your grasp just enough. Uh, and uh, he, he responds well, like, you see me, I hear you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. What? But. Oh. But. You but, give me this but, opportunity. Not quite yet. To enjoy not the dulcet yet. tones of the loser song. And it's so it worth really it. Is quite scary. <laughs> I roll that just like Jerry. I mean, I think we should all sing along with this. Uh, I'll let you finish. Do. But he has Lucky! Oh, is that anyway? <laughs> it's a core. Worst rolls ever tonight for Puck. You've gotten, to, you've gotten me to play that song twice, and I so appreciate you for it. I cannot tell you enough. Hold on, I got one more coming. <laughs> one more critical fail. Ooh, there it is. There's that does that eight, that eight damage. Then he has to roll a wisdom save. Uh, the darkness stays up. Okay. Okay. And uh, wisdom. Yeah, you're good. Ooh, definitely good on both counts. Uh, <laughs> is that the end of your turn, sir? Yes, it is. Okay. Man, we're just going at it. <laughs> you guys are seriously brawling over there. This is a good fight. <laughs> the count, the relentless behemoth, is still tromping ever closer towards you. Fuck this guy. I hate him. I hate him so much. Um, I would never put in a creature specifically to counter you. I, I mean, think you did, though. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> hey, you can use Earth Bolt again. I know. <laughs> wow, great. <laughs> Amazing. Um, uh, take the one off the geez. back of the... Uh, the Wi-Fi thing. I could use Earth Falls again. Right over there, Maya. Listen to what I'm saying if you're asking um, something. I still feel like, like, how damaged does he look? Uh, he definitely looks like he's uh, got a lot of pieces missing, crumbling, bits of him, of him have broken off. He's got all these cracks going through his, his uh, shoulders where he's taking damage. Uh, his left leg is definitely just riddled with cracks going all the way up it, you know, past the kneecap. Okay. Um, ugh. all right. Damn it. <laughs> Asshole. Asshole! Um, yeah. Maya, put the tablet down and listen to my words. Get the charger right there that's behind the wi I don't have any good unit. options here. Behind the candle. It's plugged into the Wi-Fi unit. Earth bolts, earth bolts. Fine. Better kill him, though. Okay, do your damage. Do the thing. Make the deck save first. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Is that 20 feet? Oh, uh, I meant to be 20 feet away. I bet. Yeah, sorry. Here, you can play with it. I, don't, I can't. Yeah, you should be able to move it. Nope. What? Settings, why have you done me so wrong? So many fails. All right, earth bolt to the face. And now I got that song stuck in my head. So jokes on me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Roll 20 is going to give me a coronary tonight. <clears throat> Dex. Dex is coming. I got to press the button. And I fail. <laughs> so it's prone again. Takes 25 damage. 25 big points of damage. You are really trying to kill this thing at this point. And it's still up? It is still up. As it falls uh -huh. down to its knees, you, actually this time, uh, the the earth bolt comes in. It hits the same leg, and you see this time it just crumbles all the way gone, 
as it falls down to the ground prone, uh, missing its left leg all the way up past the knee. It's still up, though. It is still pushing, you know, it lifts up its head, starts pushing mm-hmm. itself back up. So would slow, would slow take away my haste bonus action? Uh, I feel like it would neutralize haste, yeah. But it's not like it doesn't just, does it dispel haste or does it just like neutralize it while it's up? It doesn't dispel it. I would say they just, the effects are counteracted. Okay. Um, That'd be hmm. my interpretation. So, should I do it? <laughs> should I walk toward it? Definitely. Earth bolt, earth bolt. I can't do another earth bolt. He, he That's what did. I'm saying. Uh, just, just flee and then earth bolt. No, next I'm, not, I'm saving an earth bolt. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to kite it. Uh, no, dude, most mighty meteors get six earth bolts. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm saying, should I move forward to try to attack it? Oh, yes, do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I don't know what to do. Uh, it says on a failed save, a target can't use reaction, its speed is halved, and it can't make more than one attack on its turn. Okay. Um, since you're hasted and you get a bonus action, I would just say it cancels out and you're just normal. Well, I can't make more than one attack, but I could still use my haste bonus action. Is this like a special action? Like to, to dash or something or disengage? I mean... It really, I mean, is it... All right, whatever, I'm just going to run away. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck it, shit. I, that's something we can discuss, I guess, yeah, in, yeah. Uh, okay. in chat or whatever. Um, you know, because some people might say it's whichever spell was cast second is going to have that effect. You know, so that's, it's worth a debate. Okay. Whatever, we I'm can, running away. So okay. we can save advice it later. Yeah. Sounds good. For the sake of streaming. Yeah, sorry. No, but no, that's no problem. I was there with you, sir. Um, Alanis, Morissette. <laughs> uh, Moats gather of purple energy again, seep into the darkness, and this time, like, the toad rears back so the crowd catches a brief glimp- glimpse of the rogue and then just kind of swings down with its with its i guess you could say pause since it's so big but okay. with its like front front uh it's not front lashing leg. out with its tongue <sighs> no no that's that's coming later okay tongue uh, lashings take a swing tongue lashings Good. ready to go does 18 hit it does not it doesn't okay mm. then one more swing does 21 hit just hits and i'm dead oh he's down and uh like uh, as 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 the life force goes out of his body it seems to kind of instead of just disintegrating into the ether it like flows towards aranis and and he seems to like breathe it in like ah, sweet Get and by, adding, cruel world. Adding temporary hit points. And he's a Dementor, bar. too. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, uh, free action, he drops the sword, and it, as soon as it hits the ground, like, poofs into purple smoke and disappears. And uh, he uses his object interaction to pick up the bow, and then uh, moves. Okay. Yeah. Click and drag, and you can move both of those. Yeah, yeah, I will. I'm just trying to find the spot I want to go first. Let's see how far this guy is. Are we down to two fighters? We're down to the yes, champion and one of the new challengers. Okay, so he is going to move to here. Manned by the always powerful presence of Mr. Oleg. There we go, and uh, that is turn. Okay, let's come down to it. The powerhouses are getting ready to fight. I can feel it in the air. The stone golem can't even push itself back up to normal. I'm going to give it quarter movement, um, and it just relentlessly, like the Terminator at the end of the first movie, is just crawling its way towards you on two hands, relentless in its pursuit. 
it's gonna uh what does it move what's a quarter of 30 <laughs> nothing <laughs> it does not move at all um so that is going to be about where it moves there we'll see at third speed And uh, that will be the end of the turn for the Golem. Poke is no longer in the competition, so that makes it the Count's turn. It's coming down to it. We're probably actually just going to push through, and because, I mean, there's not too much left here. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, how many turns on haste, by the way? Uh, this would be my eighth, I think. How many rounds does it last? Ten. Okay. Um. Hope yeah. everybody's enjoying the arena tonight. Please come check us out on Discord. One of those guys, I'll pop that exclamation Discord in there. <laughs> Thirteen fire. Thirteen fire damage. To the uh, the golem, yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, as you see that the scorch marks, you know, go across its body, it's definitely looking a little bit worse for wear. But again, just slowly, nice. inexorably, it's coming towards shit. you. It wants to cast that slow spell on you, big time. And I'll dodge as my hand do it. Okay. Is yeah. that the end of your turn, sir? Yep. I can't dodge, whatever. Doesn't matter. Alanis. Uh oh, <laughs> hi. Can I hide? I'm gonna hide. You can hide. Can I hide, like, over here? From him? From who? The golem? The golem? Yeah. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, stealth. Nope. <laughs> he definitely sees me. Alright. I mean, it's almost worth the song. No, don't, no, save it. <laughs> save the song. All right. Is that the end of your turn, sir? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, not yeah. still Aranis' turn. So, so the toad, like, its throat, like, bubbles out, gathering, and, and you can see, like, little purple motes as the throat bulges out, and then it opens its mouth, and two eldritch blasts spit out of it towards the golem. All right. So you see its mouth is as he lashes out with his eldritch tongue. Does it have cover? Or does it have to be uh, next to the fire? I have sharpshooter. But that doesn't apply to spells. Uh, it does, to range attack spells. I thought that was spell sniper. Oh, yes. Was that two? Uh, it was two. Holy shit. Critical I mean, <laughs> this is so freaking worth right now. That the toad like bobs its head along. The crowd's going, What the hell is a critical hit? <laughs> Domino loves that effect. <laughs> love it, Domino. Love it. All right. That is. Um, it, you said that was on the golem, sir? Yeah. All right. So you were looking at. Uh, holy crap. 24. 24 big points of damage. All right, as these things come smashing into the creature, you see it again. It kind of rocks over onto its side. This time you see one arm is completely blown off of the creature as the second one comes in and blasts off another big sh section New of its body. New subscriber detected. You see the thing, one hand, <sighs> digging into the earth, still trying to pull itself towards you guys. This implacable enemy will not stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And uh, and the toad the toad just like hops a little ways and then that is turn. Right now. That is turn. Okay. And this time the golem moves five feet due to the crawling Again, you see the glare of withheld magic within its eyes. And we are back to the count. <clears throat> I 
Um, yeah. Uh, I will tell you it's very close, sir. Yeah, but <laughs> fucking. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus thing to hide again. Okay. Just right in front of Oops. Aranus. I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. No, for the golem. Okay. I'm like behind the fire, right? And then can I pop out and attack him? Does he yeah. see me with that stealth? Okay. Uh, uh, with the 21, probably not. I mean, he's not... Well, I mean, I guess he's kind of looking for you. So should I just roll, or that's fine? Uh, go ahead and make your roll. I'm loading character sheets, so I'll be ready in about 10 minutes. So seven fire. Oh! Well, damn. He sees you. <laughs> I rolled a 21. He rolled a natural 20. Oh, are we, are we playing that way? Because I thought, I thought you can't uh, crit on saving throws and shit. Or spell abilities. Are we, we're playing where you can crit, crit fail and that stuff? Okay. What? I know. My bad. How do you not automatically crit? Well, I have the, the rules in the PHP. It's only crits on attacks. Yeah, the theory is like like some chump off the street, even on his best day, is never like gonna pull a fast one on like a wrestler, you know, like a pro wrestler on his best on his worst day kind of thing. You know? Anyway, that's fine. I mean, whatever we can play that GM, way. Yeah. God, that's so debatable. Yeah. Um, no, that's fine. If that's the way it says in the handbook, then that is the direction we're gonna go with that. So he does okay. not see you. All right. So seven fire. Okay. Seven fire damage, sadly, is not going to quite be enough to take him down. Oleg's definitely going to kill it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to run this way. I think this is the second battle arena that you've done all the damage to the thing. Oh no, that was Oleg. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Yeah, let me check. I might, let me check on my uh, haste rounds. To be fair, I think I did... Like maybe ten damage to the thing. You did, you definitely did. And then uh, uh, Mike did some damage as well. So I think everybody's gotten hits on in this thing, except for Poke. Poke was busy to having a savage battle. Just wanted, yeah. just wanted to say credit. I, I want credit. <laughs> you contributed. Uh, the toad like inhaled. The toad inhales again and then spews out two more Eldritch Blasts at the Golem. Okay. What do they do? He needs well, damage. 17 to hit. Did you whisper that to me again? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It's it's public. It's tw 26, 26 and 25. 25. Oh. As this thing is crawling forward. Bullshit. As those two Eldritch Blasts come in, you see it slam into its chest and just totally, completely rip the top half of this thing asunder. As it falls down, you see, like, the shoulder on this side with part of an arm left slowly twitch and move forward. Start trying to drag what's left of its torso with its broken arm and its half-cracked head towards you. Not <laughs> that is dead. crazy, man. Not dead. That's just more creepy than anything else at this point. <laughs> the gun. Uh, oh, was that the end of your turn, sir? I'm sorry. No, no, I'm gonna move. Okay. So I'm gonna move, and then that'll be turn. So the toad, you know, hops, hops over here, and that is turn. I need, I need frog sound effects for this. Okay. It's almost not even moving at all. This stone golem just starts crawling it's mangled form closer and closer to you <clears throat> the count all right this is my last haste turn i'm gonna go over here you guys are just kiting the crap out of this thing um i only got to squish on on mike oops going yes, to yes and, and i appreciate the assist on that one <laughs> mike, mike was the only one that got squished I did not. I do not have advantage on that. So it's uh, it's a sixteen stealth. Okay. I mean, 
Does this Actually, thing have it, it is a 17, because the 13 was your first roll. Oh, you're right. <laughs> 17 still! All right. Uh, I'm just loading a character sheet, so I'll be with you okay. in a couple minutes. <laughs> no big deal. Well, I should just sip on this... Uh, <sighs> I just uh, have some wine. Uh, so mainly we'll mission ball oh, through. What? See, this is why I need to read things. Because what? the golem has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Well, <laughs> that would have changed it. <laughs> he, he realizes that has <laughs> falls apart little by little. <laughs> as it comes back together. You I've discovered more of the parchment. <laughs> Oh, am I supposed to read about the monsters before I run them? <laughs> Is that how I GM? That's funny. I know what I'm doing, guys, I promise. One of these days, I'm going to be so good at this job. You guys are Th this be... golem was built from, like, the crappy materials that were left over from the others. <laughs> you guys are going to be impressed when I get my shit together. <laughs> He's going to show up in a regular arena with just stall monsters that have, like, two monster right, classes. One of these days, I'm just going to show up in, like, a wizard's robe with the beard and the hat and everything, and that'll be the day. You know, he just shows up with the life is to get us. That'll be the day I'm actually good at this job. Uh, he sees me, right? Or he doesn't see me, I don't know. Uh, meets it, beats it, right? Okay. Uh, so he does see you with his one good eye, with his right. one stone orb fixed upon you. Nine fire damage. No! No, 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 no! <laughs> yes! As, as, yes! As the nine fire damage one. comes in, you hear the death of Did this creature. Yes! yes. As the okay, stone the, uh, golem finally falls. The count... Pulls out a crap of wine, seemingly from nowhere, and drinks the whole thing down in one fell swoop, and throws it towards the uh, Uranus. And he goes, Here, Uranus, have some wine! Go ahead and roll yourself a performance that check there, sir. Alright. But it's not going to look good for me now. It is not going to be good for me right now. No? I like shell me. Am I wrong? Am I playing the wrong no. soundbite? No, it was good. It was clap, clapping. Oh. Except not, they're not. Oh, ah. they, they were cheering. They were cheering you, but then all of a sudden, it just—they they, seem to turn on you, dude. Like just for a second. Stop oh, wasting that wine. And then all of a sudden, the disapproval rings out. All right, my haste is gone. It's the booze okay. ring out from the crowd to the count. It's all down. This would be so much more impressive if, you know, Roll20 wanted to keep up with my brain. So, <laughs> that, uh, that all happened. You definitely take down the golem. Is that the end of your turn, sir? Uh, yeah. Okay. Alanis, it is down to you and the champion. Uh, the, the toad, like, it's, its tongue, like, darts out and bats the, the wine carafe out of the air before it gets <laughs> anywhere near it. Ooh. And uh, and then it like belches out an arrow flying at the count. Okay. Attack, good sir. A fifteen. Yes. Miss, miss, miss. Sadly, not and going then, to hit. Yep. And then the toad moves a little bit. Uh, make sure you measure that out around the corner there. Yeah, I will. I mean, if you just want to walk straight there, you can, but there's a pit that you might fall in. And a chain devil. Just saying. He wants to be played with. He has whips and chains. <laughs> and that is turn. Okay. Well, we are down to the champion. Skip over me. Uh, no, I just deleted the golem. No, I'm saying skip over me. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Haste, well, you, you can't do anything next turn. I mean, I could... You can't take an action. No, but I can use a or... bonus action. Okay. Can you? Yeah. 
Do you want to take? I can a use bonus, bonus actions and reactions. Do you want to take uh, a bonus action, sir? Uh, yeah, I will. I'm going to use my Misty Step racial ability to go right there. Okay. Good deal. Right there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We are just down to the last two of you guys here. The toad, like, sucks in air again and belches out another arrow. Okay. 18. Does an 18 hit? Uh, I'll use my shield spell. Ooh. As you're shooting in with the bow, at the last moment, he's able to get the hands up and you see the familiar blue energy uh, block the attack. And uh, the toad bounds, bounds a little bit further <laughs> at his turn. Run away! Okay. The count. I know, he, I know what he's waiting to do, though. Two hours later. <laughs> the count. All right. Uh, haste and blade song. Although, I know what Olug's going to do to me. Ooh. Here it comes. And haste and blade song is up. Oh, boy. All right. He's really running in there at you. Hit me, Oleg. And uh, actually, I'm gonna go like right. Hold on, sorry. Uh, I was right here, right? Let me do this. Let me do this with the thing. Okay. There's no floor traps, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna believe you. <laughs> what? All right. Okay. Everybody on Twitch can totally verify my statement. Ah, you jerk. You jerk. <laughs> okay. Is that the end of your moves, sir? Yep. All right. So the toad bounds, like, slightly moves forward, <laughs> and then its tongue lashes out, uh, striking uh, the count, and you hear a voice from the darkness that says, Suffer! <laughs> All right, lash out with your tongue. Don't make that weird. Okay, make it weird. Whatever. Are you casting his third level? Yes. Damn. Okay, so I got a plus one to the save. Damn, son. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> Just. What uh, he needed. So I take, I take half damage. Wow. Yeah. All right. So what is that? Uh, eleven. Eleven. Okay. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's eleven. Oh wait, what the fuck? Oh, never mind. And I'll make sure I make a con save, and this has plus four to it. Oh. Oh, saved. Dang it! You have to roll real low to not. Not yeah. Yeah. Three, I think you have to hit. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then I, uh, okay. because why not? Even though it won't help me, I will move anyway. All right. Actually, no. Fuck that. I'm. I'm not moving. <laughs> Stands his ground. <laughs> you know what's coming. Make that tech save. Yeah. Your in the HT brush, please. HT Amazon, please. Fail. Sixteen big points of damage. So I'm deducting uh, temp first, and then from there. Okay. Okay. And then I moved. What? How much did I just move? Like, doesn't matter. Fifty or something. I'm gonna rush in and attack him at disadvantage. All right. Do the My thing. She is super slow. That is a miss. That is a miss, unfortunately. Okay. Do I even need to like keep turning the turn tracker? No. <laughs> are we are we good on that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Aranus. The toad the toad like seems to to pose. You know how like dogs when they're at attention will just like sit up straight. So the dog or the the toad sits up, and you hear the sound of a bell coming from the darkness. Okay. What does this bell do? Uh, it uh, 
Yeah, he has to make a save. Plus one. Oh, no, not a disadvantage, though. Uh, so just this. Oh, so it's actually, yeah. So 12. I take seven necrotic. And Ouch. let's make that save. Toll right. the dead. Okay. Uh, seven first. Seven. And con save with plus four. Oof. All right. And that is turn. I absolutely have no spells to help me here. <laughs> All right. So it's the count's turn? Yep. Yep. And I have no spells to help me. So. Whatever will you do? 40 feet. Uh, I'm first going to use. Yeah. And as you close in. I'm uh huh. Just you bastard you bastardo bastardo 19 was that on disadvantage yeah that does hit okay take that damage roll that con save yeah hang on where are we con save there we go Ooh, easily makes the con save. Alright. Oh, with the boom boom. 12 is sadly miss. is not going to hit. Aranis. Look at this guy, just running in and out on you. Uh, so the toad bounds forward just a little bit. Okay. And, uh, and again, sits straight at attention, and you hear the sound of the bell. Oh, fuck. Toll yeah. the dead. <laughs> Come on, I needed fucking 24 there, <laughs> not two. Ooh. So I take two necrotic. Ooh. So uh, that's where I needed it. That's where I needed Sadly, it. Sadly, you needed a bigger roll than that. Yeah. Uh, roll my con save. Jesus. Plus four, and you can still be lucky. Oh, <laughs> shit, yes. <laughs> Haste is down. Oh Haste god, I need a that. Haste is down. Alright. Wow. Alright. Okay. Take turn again. Do you oh. automatically get the uh, the end of haste effect if it goes down like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Tell him to go again. Alright. So, uh. A ro the toad, I should say. Man, this is a close match. So the toad bounds away, away. Actually, hang on. No, let's do something else. Uh, the toad sits at attention again, and, and the bell, the sound of the bell comes. There we go. Wow. Holy shit. Holy. Did that kill me? Let's see. Yeah, that would kill me. So here it is. <laughs> here it is with a plus one. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Damn. Still 10. Still 10 damage. Damn. Count does not look good. And the toad sees him stagger a little bit and, and begins to bound in his direction. And that is turn. Wow, wow. All right, well, I don't really have many other options. <laughs> now or never count. What is he going to do? The only thing I can do. The darkness. Ooh, 15. Miss, Sadly just by misses. one miss. And that would have killed me, too. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, As yeah. you stab into the darkness and, and, and barely miss. You feel it go through the cloth of his tunic. Uh, I guess I will run away, but it doesn't really... Oh, you only get one attack now, because you're not hasted. Yeah. Ouch. There. Okay. As you, as you try to flee, you cannot flee the sound of the bell. 
That is uh, going. That, kill, that just kills me. Yeah. That is going to do it. As the yeah. count is running away again, the tells ring out. Boom. I have come to collect. Boom. You see the back of his head as it slowly starts to turn a black color as the veins pattern starts to reach around his head as the necrotic energy overtakes his head and slowly you see his ears start to fall into pieces as does and his the, neck as does his head as it sinks in and he slowly falls to the and earth. the toad like bounds in his direction and like reaches down with its head and it looks like it's devouring him yes yes we have a new champion of the battle arena Congratulations to Oleg. Uh, congratulations to Ancient Man Beast on a great run. Um, he is tied for the longest run with the champion as uh, with the character as champion. So we'll see if he can come back and and make another hack at it. Um, again, uh, thanks to everybody for showing up. Uh, it was a lot of fun tonight. I was playing around a lot with my sound effects, and as always, that makes me giggle on the inside. So I appreciate all of you guys for that. Those crit um, and fail songs, man. It was, yeah, man. You you triggered the the best crit <laughs> fail songs, and I love you for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we definitely have other awesome streaming entertainment throughout the week. Uh, Monday, uh, not this coming Monday, but the week after, we are finally going to be launching Harmony City. I am so yeah. freaking excited about it. Um, I cannot wait for that game to start. Um, on Tuesday, of course, we are going to be continuing our Monster Hearts campaign. Um, that is so silly and so fun and just amazing to watch you guys really got to come and check that out it's just super super fun game to be in uh, eric does play in that one as well he is a, a wolf man during that game um, on wednesdays we do have our new london campaign uh, we did take a week off this week um, just to kind of shake things up a little bit and see what we can do moving forward uh, the you guys are going to be pleasant pleasantly surprised in what we've put together for for the weeks to come uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, definitely some some interesting new things coming, and and I think everyone's going to going to dig on that for sure. Of course, the battle arena. This is what you're all here for because obviously, who doesn't love carnage? Who doesn't love the gore and the bloodshed? Um, if you do want to play in the battle arena, please come to Discord. Uh, someone will throw in that uh, exclamation Discord for me. I'm sure. Um, definitely come uh, to the Discord server. Uh, so go to the sign up uh, chat and uh, throw your name in there we'll get you on the list it is about three weeks out approaching four weeks out um, it's definitely a lot of uh, interest in the battle arena so i encourage you guys to uh, come and do that get yourself on the list and we'll get you in and playing as soon as possible um, does anybody else have anything they want to shout out or anything before we head out for the evening were you not entertained <laughs> <laughs> also welcome to to poke things he is going to be joining the wednesday crew um, that's going to be a lot so, of fun. A lot of fun going forward. He's going to be playing with Eric on uh, on that campaign, and uh, Mr. Domino. Yeah, Mr. It's Domino fine. is the GM of that campaign. Always coming at us with the craziness, with the craziness. And this is my daughter. She's the biggest fan of the whole thing. So can we, can we have a message from the count? The count. <laughs> yes, of course. And remember, always drink and fight. <laughs> I mean, it makes it makes the loss that much less painful. <laughs> and, and it also makes the, the marinated feast for the toad that much more delicious. <laughs> Second leg, marinated. That was all the black stuff. <laughs> all right. Again, thanks for showing up, guys. Thanks for hanging out, uh, everyone that you know died during the course of the evening. Thanks for hanging out until the end of the stream with us. We definitely appreciate that. Um, thanks for the new people that are just playing for the first time tonight. I hope you guys sign up again and, and try your luck in the arena. I definitely had a lot of fun playing with you guys. And I look forward to next week. Um, again, come check us out on Discord. I'm always there running my mouth. So you can definitely find us and we can uh, hang out and BS and see what awesome things can happen. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Can't be doing it without you. Love you. Thank you so much. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Night.